that's where the structure of this door yeah. moves back and forth. So I've got to get that welded in. That's well, it lost the structure down there. So. Is it the, is the rust below your floor line? Well, what it is is it's, there's a your floor lines right here. Right. And let's see how I welded it right here just to see if it do anything. Yeah. I kind of it blew right through it, but it did strengthen it up. So if I can. I know a lot of I people will leave, it, will leave it kind of rusty around the edges like that and do it down below where it's not really right. you know, interfering with the strength of the body. But, uh, but I've got to do I've got to do something in there, but if I do do something in there... Why don't, we ask, why don't we ask these guys? Why? Should Mike paint the truck or should he leave it somewhat like this? <laughs> we're, we're, we're debating paint over rust and uh, bondo and dents and... Uh, I kind of like it. You know, I like that door. Like, if you didn't do another thing to that door, I'd, I'd call that perfect. If you can spray some kind of clear coat or something on it and leave it just like that. Because you got the old original fireball yeah. sign. You got that yellow paint. You got I Love You Tina on there. <laughs> <laughs> got it ground up a little bit, you know. Heck, and, and all around the back, even where you got that uh, that red that old red primer and stuff. You know, I just... Uh, that's just my thinking. That's what I would do. I'd leave it. I'd leave it rough. You, you think we ought to ask YouTube what they yeah. think? Okay, YouTube, we're gonna vote. <laughs> you tell them your your paint idea, and then we'll talk about whether they like that or they like just the rough. Just a flat bit. orange, right? Flat orange. Or maybe some dents left and some welding showing where I weld some patches in, and just like a flat orange right over everything. That's what I was gonna do. Now, we all know you're going to do what you want to do. Uh, we all know right. you're going to do what you want to do, no matter what everybody says. <laughs> but we could give everybody an opportunity to vote. Yeah. Should Mike uh, paint the whole thing, or should he leave it somewhat like that? How would you do that? If, if you sprayed some kind of clear coat or something on there, would it... Would it, it I'm it, not sure. I've seen people try it. Well, I mean, the w worst thing that could happen is you decide you don't like it down the road and decide to squirt some paint on it, right? Yeah. You'd have to paint some, put some clear coat on it because she's a lot of bare metal showing, you know. Yeah. But the clear might not adhere too, you know, where it's your primer basically adheres your paint to your to your paint. Yeah. So if you have no primer between your clear coat, then I'm not real sure what's going to happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, the worst, what's the worst thing that could happen? Worst thing in Maine is this thing could turn right into one big bowl of rust. <laughs> Which is kind of what it is. This is kind of what it is now, right? Why? Right, but I mean, worse <laughs> than it is now. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what they say. I vote for rust. <laughs> I love that door. <laughs> to be honest with you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do a thing more to that door. I would, I would uh, preserve that just like that. I think it's lovely. And in fact, I like the whole thing. I, I like the whole look, just, just almost just like it is. I'd probably knock a little bit of the fuzzy, you know how the rust is, yeah, it's like, is like apart. Yeah. it's like fuzzy rust. You know, you yeah. get up, you get up here on the back of the cab, and you run your hand across there, and it all. It all comes off in your hand, you know. I probably, I probably just smooth that down, but I mean, if you think about it, this thing's been sitting around rusting for how many years? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's been sitting around rusting for fifty. What fifty? This is a what was a forty-one, yeah. sixty, seventy. Been sitting around for seventy years. It hadn't rusted away yet. I expect you might drive it a year or two without it rusting out from under you. Just thought. Yeah, maybe I'll just run around it with a, with like I'm doing now. And yeah, just kind of take a take your grinder and, or or brush or whatever, and just kind of knock the uh, fuzzy stuff off in it. And uh, if you want to get fancy, you know, if you think about it, you've already primed this up here, so you could take your front end and your hood, you could do your big ugly skull face thing, and then leave the back of it. Yeah. You know, have that fade into the back of it back there and leave it rough. That'd be honking, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now go over old style door hinges. Yeah. I'm gonna say that again. I thought that was clever. You can always paint it, but you can't unpaint it.
<laughs> oh, it's just lovely.